My friends, I'm honored to host you all here in Washington for the uh, U.S. African Summit Leaders Summit. It's a wonderful to spend time with you and your spouses last night at dinner, and I truly enjoyed it, and thank you for making the time. And let me also convey my condolences to the people of the Democratic Republic of the Congo for the tragic loss of life and the communities impacted due to the flooding. Mr. President, we uh, missed you last night, uh, but uh, if there's anything the United States can do to help in this effort, uh, please, please let us know. We'll do whatever we can. Today, I'm looking forward to hearing more from all of you about the issues and priorities that matter most to Africa and how we can deepen our cooperation. And I emphasize cooperation. Our nations have worked closely together for a long time. We've improved the lives of countless people in all our countries in meaningful ways on both sides of the Atlantic. And with this summit and with the African Union's Agenda 2063, our eyes are fixed squarely on the future. We're now in the early years that will, be that will be a decisive decade. The choices that we make today and the remainder of this decade and how we tackle these challenges, in my view, will determine the direction the entire world takes in the decades to come. As I said yesterday, the United States is all in on Africa and all in with Africa. African voices, African leadership, Af African innovation, all are critical to addressing the most pressing global challenges and to realizing the vision we all share, a world that is free, a world that is open, prosperous, and secure. Africa belongs to the table in every room, in every room where global challenges are being discussed and in every institution where discussions are taking place. That's why I announced in September at the United Nations General Assembly that the United States fully supports reforming the UN Security Council to include permanent representation for Africa. And today, I'm also calling for the African Union to join the G20 as a permanent member of the G20. Whether it's... It's been a long time in coming, but it's going to come. <laughs> And uh, today, I'm also, uh, whether we're upholding or defending the foundation principles of global peace and security enshrined in the UN Charter and the UN and in the AU's seminal, seminal documents, or meeting the challenges that impact every nation, the people of Africa are indispensable partners to delivering, to delivering the progress that benefits everyone, not just in Africa and the United States, but the whole world. The COVID-19 pandemic, followed by Russia's unjust and unprovoked war against its neighbor Ukraine, has roiled the global economy, erasing many of the development gains that we worked so hard together to achieve over the past two decades. But that doesn't change our shared goals and our commitment to seeing them through. It only makes it more urgent for us to take decisive action and take it together. That's why, over the next three years, working in close cooperation with the United States Congress, we plan to commit $55 billion in Africa to advance the priorities we share and, su and to support the Agenda 2063. That number represents a comprehensive commitment from the United States to invest in Africa's people, Africa's infrastructure, Africa's agriculture, Africa's health system, Africa's security, and more. In our view, our new shared vision statement lays out a forward-looking foundation for the 21st century partnership between Africa and the United States. We want to work with you on these issues that matter most to our people's lives. And we're looking to increase our collaboration in every area, from rural communities to urban centers to cyberspace to outer space. In addition to our investments, we're also committed to helping African countries assess the financing you need, the financing you need to build sustainable and inclusive economies. We're leading a global effort to pursue equitable arrangements for global creditors to provide debt relief so nations can prioritize their people, not backbreaking debt payments. And I'm asking the Congress for the authority to lend $21 billion 
to the International Monetary Fund to provide access to necessary financing for low and middle income countries that are so difficult to come by now and so it will help Africa's re recovery efforts and support projects that build resilience against future crises. As we engage with your countries, the United States will always lead with our values, support for democracy, respect for the rule of law, commitment to human rights, responsible government, all are part of our DNA. That doesn't mean we always get everything right. We surely don't. And the work of democracy is never finished or never guaranteed. It's about consistent and constant self-improvement. But that's why democracy is the best tool we have to address the wide range of challenges we all face. And that belief is shared by Africans and Americans alike. For South Africa's world-changing triumph over apartheid to Nigeria's not-too-young-to-run movement, empowering a new generation of changemakers, to the record voter turnout in Zambia, where young people demanded a better future, we see over and over again that our greatest power is our people. So one of the commitments I want to highlight today is the investment in countering democratic backsliding through our new African Democratic and Political Transition Initiative. Collaborating closely with African governments, regional institutions, and civil society, my administration will work with the United States Congress to invest $75 million to strengthen transparent, accountable governance facilities, facilitate voter registration, support constitutional reform, and more. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.